I'm Philippe Heller with the Real Estate Inspection Company bringing you this week's tip on managing the home inspection. One of the items that can often cause a lot of confusion and frustration after the home inspection is the GFCI receptacle. You'll see these typically in the kitchen, by the sink and at the countertop, and also in bathrooms and in garages. Now, GFCIs are not always required. We do recommend them as a safety upgrade and it is current code to have them near plumbing fixtures and at the exterior, but they really only started to be installed in houses starting in 1971. And at that time, they were only installed outside because the thought was that that is where you were going to come in contact with water and electricity at the same time. Over the years, the requirement has increased and GFCIs has be, have been required in more locations throughout the house. Today, you should expect to see them in the laundry area, kitchens, bathrooms, and several other places. Um, the whole purpose of a GFCI is to protect humans from electrocution. Original circuit breakers are there to protect the house from a fire, but a GFCI constantly monitors the flow of electricity and detects when electricity, perhaps from an appliance, flows to ground, such as through a plumbing fixture. It will immediately shut off and protect you from getting electrocuted. If there's confusion, we have some great information on our website, which tells you where and when GFCI receptacles are required throughout the house. So if you're involved in a transaction on an older home and you get an inspection report that recommends the installation of GFCI receptacles, you can check there and see if it is required or just a recommended safety upgrade. If you have any questions, please go to our website at sdinspect.com or give us a call and we're happy to help. Thank you.